Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So my name is Walter. This is the Credit Card Master channel. So if you're new here, um, we talk about travel, we talk about credit, credit tips. So if you like that, you can give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe as well. Um, so today's video is going to be about this Capital One data breach that we just found out about today. I wanted to make sure I'm giving it to you early. Wanted to kind of give you exactly what's going on if you're somebody who doesn't really like to like look at the news too much or kind of read or you just want to kind of listen to this on your way to work or something like that or whatever or if you just like YouTube better. Um, so I'm going to tell you a couple of things. What it is, what's going on, um, if you're affected and what you can also do to prevent. A lot of people um, on these blogs have not really told you what you can do to prevent it. Uh, to kind of really save yourself and I'm going to give you some a couple methods on how to really save yourself from these data breaches to really make sure you are you and your family are protected okay and all for free so let's get right into this video All right, so if you're not new here, you notice I definitely got a backdrop now. The hair has been cut off, so yes, yes everybody, I cut it off right now. I wanted the waves back, but other than that, let's get right into this video. So, according to multiple sources, and again, I'm not taking credit for any of these articles that I'm showing to you, um, you can see who the credit is. It looks like the first one is CNN. Um, so it looks like, and this is actually the only one, 100 million people, uh, this is actually, I'm sorry, New York Times, 100 million people um, were affected from this data breach. Um, this is going down as the largest uh, breach in history, and this is by a single person. We're not gonna get into who it is and what they, all this crazy stuff, but 100 million people were compromised, 140,000 social security numbers and 80,000 bank account numbers could have possibly been affected. That is huge, okay? That is huge. Um, Capital One is also pretty much saying that they're looking at maybe up to $150 million worth of damages, which, you know, it's not as much as the Equifax data breach that we just had recently, but it is still a tremendous amount of money. They're saying some Canadian customers have been affected, some American customers, credit card applications, as well as um, existing, you know, bank account numbers and things of that for existing card holders. So here's the thing. I just applied for a Capital One card that I was just declined for. If you want to see why I was declined, if you're interested in that video, I'll put that up here for you guys to see why I was declined from Capital One. The video actually did really well. But here's the thing: um, I'm pretty much. I think I'm pretty much definitely in that. You know, 100 million. I'm probably definitely in that situation. Here's what you guys can do to actually prevent this. Now, again, if data is being breached, we live in a world where you really can't prevent that, unfortunately, 100% of the time. A lot of things are computer. Mostly everything nowadays is computer. But here's what you can do to make sure you and your family are safe if things are breached. Now, things like address, things like phone number, unfortunately, those things are really not in my niche. Uh, or So I really can't talk about those, but I can definitely talk about the most important thing, which is your social security number. We can actually protect ourselves for free. So here are a couple of different ways. The first thing you can do is you can get a credit monitoring service. I'm actually recommending, um, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm definitely just giving you some recommendations. I would definitely recommend to have a credit monitoring service like Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, um, anything that you guys kind of use um, to make sure you are monitoring your credit. Credit Karma is awesome, like I said. Um, they tell me as soon as somebody pulls my credit, um, they tell me if something's fell off, they update your credit score every uh, week. Now, it's not the most accurate as far as credit score, but I use it for free. It's a free service. I use it more so as a credit monitoring service because my credit's not bad at all. Um, but I just want to make sure everything as far as utilization, um, inquiries, um, soft or hard, things of that nature are up and in great standing. And also things that are being reported to the three credit bureaus, all right? So also, I would also recommend to make sure you get your annual credit report. You can get um, a free credit report uh, every year, all right, for all three credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Um, I could put that link in the description for you guys as well. So if you see something, let's say you don't have a credit monitoring service, or let's say you just want to just do this anyway as a habit, because I do this every year, you pull your credit for free on their website. I believe, I believe they can send it to you via mail or via, you know, electronic file which I did electronic file and you can kind of just go through your report 
Now, it's not going to give a score. It's going to just give you a report, which is really important. You can see what's on there, see if something is not accurate, see if something is accurate, and kind of go from there. Um, now, also, the most important thing that I do that's free, and this really helps out the credit, this really helps out the social security, because the other two methods, I mean, once they've gotten your social, it's pretty much over. Freeze your credit. You are entitled in the United States, you are entitled to have your credit frozen for free of charge. What that means is if let's say somebody got my social security number from a data breach or anything like that and they tried to go out there and get a credit card, go out there and get a bank account, go out there and get a mortgage, go out there and get a lease or a finance or whatever, then my credit is frozen for all three credit bureaus. They will not be able to be approved. Yes, they have my, my social, which is a bad thing, really bad. But the worst thing that they can do, having the information is one thing, actually using it is a lot worse, okay? So if your credit is frozen, they have no access. They can't apply for a credit card and get approved. They cannot apply for a loan and get approved. They cannot apply for a mortgage, HELOC, finance, lease, anything, and be approved because your credit is frozen, um, which is an awesome thing. So you can freeze your credit by calling each credit bureau, or you can do it on each credit bureau's website. You can actually freeze your credit for free. A freeze means you cannot apply for anything. You will automatically get declined. Um, I freeze all of them. If you try to apply for something, you have to unfreeze it. It's really easy to unfreeze though. You call them right back or you go online and you unfreeze. Um, so if I, if I wanna apply for a Chase card, and I know Chase pulls a certain credit bureau, I sim simply have to only unfreeze that one credit bureau making a quick call, going online, unfreezing it. You can have the option to unfreeze it for a certain time frame. Typically what I do is I unfreeze it for one day and have it get placed back on without me even calling the next day. So it's unfrozen for one day, the, um, the freeze is placed back the next day. I keep my credit frozen, it does not cost you. You can freeze and unfreeze as many times as you want. That is your right as a U.S person, okay, U.S. Uh, citizen who has a credit report, credit score, you can freeze your credit. That is the best thing, um, and it's really awesome that it doesn't charge you, okay? So that's what's going on with Capital One right now. Again, me, I just applied for a credit card two months ago, so I could be affected by it, but again, guys, if you are affected by it, I'm truly sorry. I mean, it happens, but I just gave you a really good way. I think the best way is to really freeze your credit. Definitely still monitor your credit even if there's no data breaches because there always is, there's, there's typically a data breach here and there, maybe once every couple of years. And then sometimes you have these really big ones that we've been having over these last couple of years. You wanna make sure you're always a step ahead of the game though. Make sure your credit is frozen. If your credit is frozen, a lot of people don't know that. When I talk to people on the streets, when I talk to people, places, they don't know you can freeze your credit. I always like to make sure I put people on game because it saves us as a whole and the word gets around. So if this helps you out, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you have subscribed. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.